Sam Tanaglia was just five years old when he was diagnosed with cancer. And at the time we had uh, another son and a baby on the way. I was eight weeks pregnant. So he was not even in kindergarten yet. Sam fought cancer with multiple treatments over 12 years. He had chemo and even a bone marrow transplant. The cancer came back each time. And at this point, the doctors really tell you, if, it's, if, if you had a transplant that, was, that didn't work and you've had all of this chemo, there's a real chance that your child may not ever get rid of the cancer. He went in for another round of chemo, and then, right before his junior year of high school, his family got the devastating news. The doctor called and my grandma was over and everything was, right when I came home from school, it was like a weird moment because everyone was there. It looked like a hard time. And then they told, my parents told me that it'd come back for the fifth time that afternoon. And we thought that, well, if the chemo can't do it after three times and a bone marrow can't do it after one time, yeah, we thought it would never go away. So now at this point, we thought that this might be the end. We celebrated as a family, we traveled, and we just said we need to like make the most of life because we really don't know what's ahead. Sam needed something special. Fortunately, there was a new experimental treatment called CAR T-cell therapy. Dr. John Cunningham worked to get Sam into a clinical trial at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We had no hope, but then when we heard about CAR T-cell, there was hope again. What CAR T-cell therapy does is it induces the immune system to attack the leukemia cells and kill them. In the first part of the process, T-cells, the workhorse of the immune system, are collected from the patient's blood. Then scientists insert instructions that enable these T-cells to find specific cancer cells. While the T-cells multiply in the lab, the patient receives chemotherapy to reduce the number of cancer cells. And finally, the engineered T-cells are returned to the patient's bloodstream, where they seek out and kill the remaining cancer cells. We've been looking for a treatment like this for over 30 years. In fact, I came to the United States to work on therapies like this 30 years ago. And so it's the culmination of many people's work, both at the University of Chicago, the University of Pennsylvania, and elsewhere, that has resulted in uh, this new uh, therapy that we're able to provide. We never thought this would be possible after five times, so the CAR T-cell really did the job. It has given Sam and his family another chance. In fact, he's going away to college at the University of Illinois, where he hopes to use his love of sports to build a career. I'm studying broadcast journalism, looking to become a uh, sports broadcaster for any uh, baseball team, football team. I just love sports. Sports is my life. Susie says she is thankful for the care Sam has received at many places, including the University of Chicago Comer Children's Hospital. We really needed to find a place that had the most um, intense research, the most updated um, studies, and the doctors who were really on the forefront of what treatments were available. So we, when we came to Comer, we knew we were in the right place. CAR T cell therapy has given Sam another chance and an exciting outlook ahead, something his family is grateful for. We have learned to live one day at a time and really make the most of life because um, we never thought we'd have this chance with him with a future. He has hope for a future.